Welcome to Agent List Exception Monitoring or AEM using Operations Manager. This video provides a brief overview of how to configure AEM using Configure Client Monitoring Wizard. AEM enables collection, viewing, and reporting of applications and operating system crashes, as well as acquiring, viewing, and editing of knowledge responses from the Microsoft Error Reporting Service. AEM leverages Watson Error Reporting Client on the Windows 2000 and Windows XP machines and the Windows Error Reporting Client on the Vista machines to collect error reports generated as a result of crashes. AEM can be enabled using three simple steps. Assigning a management server as the AEM error report aggregator. Two, configuring management server for error report collection and knowledge resolution. And three, configuring the client machines to redirect error reports to operations manager. The first step, the administrator has to choose a management server to aggregate all the error reports from across the enterprise. The management server should have access to a local driver and network drive with at least two gigabytes of free space and NTFS. It cannot be a gateway server. So let's go to the management space, the administration space, right click on the properties of the management server we have selected to aggregate the data and set the proxy. This allows the management server to send the error reports that it has collected to the Microsoft Error Reporting Service and capture any knowledge from there. Click on the Proxy Settings tab and type in the proxy configuration information such as the address to the proxy and the port and then click OK to save the configuration. Now that we have configured the proxy, let's go to the Actions pane and configure this management server for client monitoring. Clicking on the Configure Client Monitoring starts up a wizard. On the introduction page, click Next. This will take you to the Customer Experience Improvement Program page. CEIP helps Microsoft customers to contribute to the development of Microsoft products by allowing the information about how Microsoft programs are being used to be forwarded to Microsoft. Click Yes if you want to participate in the Customer Experience Improvement Program. If you're sending this information over SSL or you want to use Mutual Auth, you can select that. If you want to change the default port settings, you can change that in the Port Edit box. After you've done this settings, let's click Next. We will now have to configure the management server depending on whether we want to monitor Windows Vista or prior Windows operating system machines. Type in the name of the location of a file share on the local drive or a UNC path to create a management server file share. The file share is going to be used to collect error reports and archive them from Windows 2000 and XP machines and to save the reports for archival from all machines including Vista. Now if you're monitoring any Windows Vista or later operating system machines, Error reports will be sent over HTTP or HTTPS. Follow the next steps to configure the management server to create an HTTP listening at port 51906. You can change the port if you want using SSL and also using mutual authentication. Type in the name of your organization in the organization name box. This name is displayed by the Watson client or the Windows error reporting client to the end user whenever a crash occurs on the machine. Click Next. To configure error report forwarding settings for sending error reports to Microsoft Error Reporting Service, choose between detailed or basic reports. If basic reports is chosen, only signature of the crash is sent to Microsoft. However, if detailed is chosen, additional information relating to the crash collected from the crashing computers is included in the error report and sent out. 
This allows Microsoft to inform System Center Operations Manager 2007 of any available solutions for the reported crash. The next step is to specify an action account used to set up the file share and configure the management server for all error reports to be collected. The account that you type in should have read, write, and create privileges on the management server computer to the file share that is being used to collect the error reports. After typing in the credential, click Next. Now a task is launched in the background that will create a file share with cabs, counts, and persisted files cabs folder and properly add permissions to those folders. It will also set up crash listener for Windows Vista. The next step is to deploy the configuration settings dialog where you can enter the path to where you want to save a group policy template. This template can then be used to configure the client machines. Clients are configured in step 3 to redirect Watson error reports to a file share or Windows error reporting through an HTTP listener which can be configured using Active Directory. The configuration for clients is stored in an administrative template or a .adm file. You can use this .adm file to deploy group policy using Group Policy Management Console or any group policy tool of your choice. With these simple three steps, you have now configured agentless exception monitoring using Operations Manager. When an application or operating system crash is detected on the client machines, an error report will be sent out to Operations Manager. Operations Manager will process and aggregate this crash information with error reports coming from other machines in the agentless exception monitoring folder. There are views that will allow you to do monitoring of application and system level operating system crashes and help based on the frequency of these crashes. There are also useful reports provided in the reporting section under client monitoring views such as top error groups report, top applications report, growth and trend report for error groups and growth and trend report for applications that can allow you to see crash information over a period of time. To learn more about AEM, you can select any of the help options in the console and refer to the Operations Manager online site.